Hi guys and welcome on board Driftwood. I take off the glasses. So this week guys we're going on another adventure down along the river and I've made a slight change to the format of the videos this time because I've added in some uh, Google Maps and I hope that adds a bit more to the to the experience. Now guys it has been suggested to me that not everybody is au fait with Irish geography. So for that reason I've employed this method. Now this is the town of Carrick on Shannon. It's a little bit cloudy, but it is Ireland. You may be able to make out the bridge in the centre. Now we're going to head down river, and there is the Jamestown Canal at the top of the picture, and Jamestown mooring is just at the bottom beside that bridge. Now if we zoom out, this is the dog leg that I told you about. At the other end of that canal, you can turn left or right. If you turn left, you'll come to Drum Sna. There's a lovely stone jetty in a little harbour here and a very good pub called Taylor's. Tell them Harry sent you. You won't be disappointed. Good spot. Now off the Shannon is this place here. This is Carnado, a lovely stone quay here. And this, if I say so myself, is the most magnificent secret on the river. These are lovely reed filled lakes. You can see little canals there linking one lake to another. You could spend days or weeks even in here. It is just gorgeous it is so serene and very very peaceful there's lovely little moorings dotted around the place now we're we're not going to get the chance to visit all of these moorings not on this occasion but this spot is the silver eel restaurant and pub they do food at weekends and it's a really good spot i'll put a link in the description below we're back out onto the main river here and this is drummond harbour you'll remember we spent a night here in drummond on the way up river but now from Drummond, we're going to head south down the river again here. And we're going, this is, we're going into the town of Ruski. You can see the bridge in the center of the town that has a lifting span. On the left hand side of the picture, you can just see there's a dry dock. And on the right hand side, upstream of the bridge, you can see an island jetty. And that's to wait for the lock keeper or the bridge keeper. Now here's the lock and behind it, there is the weir. So that's Drummond we're just passing there now. As you can see, the sun hasn't let us down yet. I think what, what I like most about the waterways and the boating is just that the pace of life seems to slow down so much and you, you just have to chill out and relax. And it's not for the, the scenery, although that helps and the good weather, of course, that helps too. But I think just being around water relaxes people. I suspect that's probably why fishermen go fishing, sports fishing. <laughs> It's, it's not to catch the fish, it's just to be in close proximity to the water. There's Marion now, happily motoring down the river. We're just above Ruski Lock now. Hopefully Marion will turn around and give us a smile there now. There we go. <laughs> so what's happening here guys is we have to get the lifting span of the bridge at Ruski lifted. So I've phoned ahead to the lock keeper who is also the bridge keeper and um, he hasn't given me a time but he said he'd be up shortly so we could tie on to that jetty there it's an island jetty and we could wait for him but what actually happens at this point is while I'm making my way over to the jetty I spot the lock keeper up on the bridge and the traffic was stopped and he was waving his arms and telling us to hurry up so I had to drop the camera and motor on through the the bridge so we didn't actually get footage of us heading under the bridge but I managed to grab the camera as soon as I was through and that's my explanation for this poor footage there's the bridge behind as you can see the span is is going down and when you go underneath that all the vehicles in in Ruski come to a complete halt and you feel like the most important person in the town at the time because everything stops for you now here's a view of the bridge taken from the shore there's a nice pub across the river there and there's plenty of moorings there's also a Chinese takeaway there too. It looks like that's a guy sitting in the river there waiting for the bridge to open for him. It's a busy little spot is Ruski. Now in Ireland the waterways are managed by a government body called Waterways Ireland and they are a north-south body and what that means is that they manage the waterways north of the border in Northern Ireland as well as south of the border in the Republic of Ireland. And this is one of their depots. This contains the largest dry dock on the river, or at least I think it does. Um, if you know 
difference, you might put something in the comments below and let me know. So leaving the Waterways Ireland depot behind, we're now approaching the lock at Ruski. The lock will come into view now up ahead and on the right hand side you'll see the barrier preventing boats from finding the weir. Now to be honest with you, there's little or no current in the river, especially on a dry summer like this. But believe it or not, Ireland is known for the rain and if we got a week of rain that would change things quite considerably and at that stage you could be glad that there's a barrier there. Now there are plenty of moorings available here but the lock gates are open so we're going to head on into the lock and continue on heading south. I'll let you enjoy that. <laughs> map again and you see the lock there at Ruski with the weir behind it. We're going to travel down river here through a few small lakes and you may remember in episode one I mentioned to you about the Camlin River. Well this is where the Camlin River joins the Shannon. So we'll head past that heading further south. This is the town of Tarman Barry and here there's another bridge with another lifting span and you can see the weir there and just after the weir you might be able to make out the lock there. So we'll head under that bridge, through that lock, and we'll head on down, further on down the river, till we reach this spot here. This is Lanesborough, and this is our destination for today. sharing the lock with another boat and a very cute dog. Now you remember Waterways Ireland and we talked about the depot they had there up at Ruski. Well this is one of their working vessels. This is Inish Keltra. She was built up in Killy Beggs, up in Donegal. Now at around about this point guys, the um, storage in my phone, on which I record all this, filled. and. Uh, Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record us arriving into Lanesborough. In a moment, guys, I'll tell you about next week's episode. But in the meantime, if you want to be sure not to miss it, if you click the subscribe button, and I think you might have to hit that bell, YouTube will send you a notification as soon as it's published, and that way you're guaranteed not to miss it. 
and as always guys we love to hear from you so if you have any suggestions or comments please leave them in the comments box below and we will get back to you so this is where we're going to start out from next week this is Lanesborough and we're going to take on one of the big lakes I'll just give you a quick peek at it this is Loch Ree just south of Lanesborough it's about 22 miles long and about seven or eight miles wide at its widest point it's an adventure thanks for watching